back to another special edition of Booze Briefs. My name's Matt. I'm Derek, and I love special editions. It's going to be super fantastic, awesome, and a little bit crazy. I'm here for it. So, so why, Matt? Why is today going to be super fantastic, awesome, and a little bit crazy? Well, because we're gonna drink some, uh, we're gonna drink some whiskey, and then I'm gonna pick you up and slam you through the table. <laughs> we're going full Buffalo Bills. That's like Bills Mafia. Dude. Yes, we're doing it. No, we're not gonna do any of that because I wouldn't want to waste the pours. And there's like equipment and stuff like that, and, and, and it's on video. And let's be honest, we're not breaking this table. I mean, it'd throw you hard enough, probably. Maybe the leaf would give out something. No, Who knows? There's a lot of metal under here. This oh. thing is oak, like 40 years <laughs> yeah. old. Yeah, old Amish table. Um, it's real no. sturdy. It's made of wood. But what we're going to do is we have Weller 107 and Makers 101, and we're doing a blind. Um, we've got them poured. We actually have them labeled correctly. Yeah. We, hey. we have a key. We do. And... Um, it, uh, we're, we'll try not to uh, screw it up, but yeah. uh, you know, it, every time we do one of these, there's something that we jack up, but yep. I think we'll be fine. And, and the only downside is when we do these pours, because we've poured them ourselves, is we don't know that we're tasting the same bourbon at the same time. That's true. So our notes may be all over the place. Um, yep. So we poured, Matt poured two glasses of this guy, yep. I poured two glasses of this guy. They are labeled on the bottom. They're both home. Uh, we've made sure we have one A, one B. I made sure to write the key, like Matt said, so I don't screw it up like I did last time. Jesus, Derek. We're just going to shuffle these all the hell around until we have no idea which is which. And also, we keep learning, um, and I'll mention it again, the head-to-head -head we did of the Crown Royal 16 versus the Whistle Pig, whatever the hell, the farm stock, I think. Yeah, the farm stock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like eight shades different. Yep, these are basically the exact pretty, same color. Pretty similar. So these are both weeded, which is why we picked these. And wheated. Sorry, thank you. Wheated. Wheated bourbons. <laughs> Unfortunately, Makers doesn't have a standard offering at 107 proof. So the two they have are the 101, which is kind of a newer offering, or cask strength, which is typically, I've seen like 110 to 114 or so. Yeah. I didn't have the cask strength on hand. It's, I went to the store and they didn't have anything. It was 46 and regular. And yeah. that was it. And, and we didn't want to do 46 because that's finished differently yep. than just um, regular makers. So either way, the makers is going to be off a few proof points. We're like, I have this. Let's do it. It should be good. Um, In my opinion, I think makers drinks hotter than it's proof anyways. So yeah. I think it'll be I think it'll be damn close. And that's why this is going to be a tough one. And Weller 107, people know it. It's impossible to get here in North Carolina. Thankfully, this was a birthday gift from Ohio where it's not impossible to get. Flows like water. Yeah. Apparently, Ohio, the 107 and the Special Reserve are like everywhere, but the full proof, the 12 and the others are still impossible to get from here. True, true, true. Uh, so let's just dive in. I guess the order doesn't matter because we're not drinking the same no, thing at the I'm same gonna, time. Well, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go with my right one first. That sounds good. Because left-handed people. Ah! I mean, I love you guys. Oh, shit, the nose, and that's good. Oh, boy. <laughs> but they're both good, though, so that's the problem. Yeah. Because I think I'm, <clears throat> I forget if I've had this bottle, Matt. I think since we went on a hunt in North Carolina almost a year and a half ago. Which we need to do that again soon because uh, apparently, like, all the stores are getting restocked now. Mm. And there's a bunch of new stores. And mm. the new stores, are, the selection is, like, ridiculous right now. So we need mm. to do a hunt here soon. Okay. Twist my arm, right? Yeah. Mm. So I'm smiling when I'm drinking these and, and nosing them even. Because the first two things we've done today were the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, which we did not care for at all, and the Dickel 8-Ear, which we liked neat. Yeah. But then you added water, which is the way we finished it, and it just... <laughs> took a nosedive. So whichever one this is, is an immediate step up in quality from either of those bottles. Oh, for sure. Mm. Yeah. All right. Now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do a little rinse and rinse. Mm. That's not a bad idea. Give it a fair compassion. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm, hello. Oh, man. 
Those are both so good. Yeah. And I think they retail. Again, when you can get this for MSRP, it's $50. Right. And I think the Maker's 101 is 45 45 or 50 something like that? Yeah. Yeah. So but similarly priced at, at retail. This is, like many things Buffalo Trace, <clears throat> effing stupid online. I you can see that online for four or $500. And, and if you pay that, please just give me that money. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. We'll buy a whole bunch of stuff every year. And we'll mm-hmm. review it, and we'll tell you about it. Yeah. And, and we won't kick you in the nuts. <laughs> but, I mean, I still might kick you in the nuts, but as long as I have your money in my hands. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to revisit the left one again, and then I'll go back to this guy. Yeah, because that first, first sip's always mm-hmm. encouraging your palate to pay attention. Mm-hmm. And everyone's favorite topic is mouthfeel. Both, I mean, especially the Evan Williams, super thin. Whatever this one is that I just had, that is like coating and just going on and on and on. One of one of them mm. is definitely more toothsome. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. As I'm tasting this, I'm thinking it is not as much of a tough decision. As far as which one is which, or which one you like better? Uh, which one is which, I already know. But I'm pretty sure I know. Is there, <laughs> if I remember correctly, uh, when our, our friends came over about a year or so ago and shared a single barrel, or a store, yeah, store pick single barrel, of the 107 with us. And they also were kind enough to share some Lot B with us, so mm-hmm. thank you mm-hmm. for that. Mm-hmm. There was a citrus note in those that I don't see a lot of other places. And I'm picking up a citrus note in this glass. Which makes me think it's this. Um, yeah. I, it's not the, I mean, the citrus, I don't, that's not what's driving me. It's the texture. Just that initial, as soon as it comes into your mouth, mm-hmm. one is, one is a little bit cooler. Like, it's almost... Mm-hmm colder but it's not you know it's it's um interesting it's tough to explain i i, I know the maker's taste mm-hmm. very well but i feel like the 101 <clears throat> is different than the regular and it's different than yes. the 46 it's got its own unique taste mm-hmm. i was just googling there um both of these are aged around six years they say this is six to eight Makers, I think, actually says around six years. Um, but yeah, ne- neither of them have an age statement. Well, I don't want to rush through these. Um, God, do I want to add water to it? We've been burned today twice. Science. But yeah. Sciencing. Ooh, hey, a little drippage, a little droppage. A little drippage. No, it's like, don't, don't you do it. <laughs> All right, let's get a little... Swish a Rooney here. But hopefully with these at the proof they are can handle the water a little bit better. Yeah, and having had Ooh. both of these, it makes them it, it it's not like it's a mm. depletion that sucks or anything. Right. Mm. Wow, it brings the heat out on the right one. And kills the heat on the left one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How does that make any sense? I think we may have the same glasses. In I the think same order. so. I think they, I think you're right. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's good. Now, now it's got me confused. I think I'm right. I think I, <clears> I think <throat> I know. Like we've said before, there are no losers in these, at least of all us. That's true. All right. That's true. So which do we want to do, Matt? Which, or first, which one do we prefer or which is which? Um, I mean, prefer is not even like, prefer between the two? Yeah, let's do that first. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with my right. I prefer this one as well. Yeah. And, and I think that's the well. That's the 107. Yeah. Like I'm, um, like <laughs> I was B, right? Um, yes, A for ma- acres. Ma- acres. We, ha- we have the B note here. For, whoop, Let me see if I can get that in there. Okay. All right. Let's do the unveiling here. Holy shit. 
This is A. Seriously? Yeah. That is too. <laughs> they did some shit. Because I thought this had the Maker's profile to it. Oh, 100%. That tasted like Maker's to me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. And we did pour them into the right ones, right? You had the bees. 100%. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 100%. Wow. This is why you do this. I, I am... My mind is a little bit blown here, Matt. I, you know what? I'm, I Actually, I feel like I just got punked. <laughs> yeah, right? Where's that? <laughs> yeah. Get in, get in here, you I feel like I got punked. It, did Mila come with me? Uh, no. That would be great if she did. <laughs> yes, whatever. Um, yeah, that's... Holy shit, man. Look at you, makers. I, I, look at you. You bake. <laughs> and the reason... like. I'm a bit of a Maker's fanboy. Don't know if you know that. Dude, I, I read that for first sip. I was mm -hmm. like, as soon as I touched that, I was like, yeah, that is 107. Yeah. Because it was thicker. I've never... I've never had a Maker's that thick. Mm -mm. The 46, yes, because that's finished and got different staves and it's French vanilla oak and yum yum. <clears throat> but I cannot believe that that Maker's <clears throat> 101 is that good. I hope this changes some people's minds. Holy shit. And I hope you don't all run and rush out and buy the 101 because guess what? Coming home with Daddy. Daddy's going back to the store. <laughs> and, and this you can find on the shelf most places. Like when it first came out that Christmas time 2020, mm -hmm. it was a, a limited offering. That's the one that if you bought the <clears throat> bottle and you sent it back to them, they would like sign it or something or they would engrave it for you for free. Hmm. And then send it back to you with the engraving on it. Okay. Yeah, like that. That but, I think that was the promo that it, it might not have been, but but I didn't think it was. But now this is on most shelves around here. Uh, holy hell! That is really re retail. You said was forty five. Oh, I can find out exactly what it is here. <clears throat> Do the googs. Uh, let's see. Good God! Makers one hundred and one price. I don't know what store location this is. Oh, yeah. Uh, total wine, $42. Or 500 You're yeah. not going yeah, to... Here, here I'll, go, I'll Google it today. Here, you don't even see. have to get black market prices. Weller, 107, shopping. Here we go. Uh, stores who I won't mention, but... Eh, screw it, I mentioned Total Wine. I'll call these jerks out. Primetime Liquor, $139.99. <laughs> Uh, oh, MB Discount Wines and Liquors, one forty nine ninety nine. Here you go. Allocated liquor, a bundle of Weller 107 and Eagle Rare for only $210. Bruh. Get out of here. Bourbon Central. Uh, you can get the Special Reserve and the 107 for a low, low price of two twenty nine. Don't do that. Do not do that. Don't perpetuate this. So, go out and buy Makers 101. Good lord. Uh, I they are well versed in mass production of mm -hmm. what they do. They're they are rising, man. They are they've got all their private select stuff that they're doing. Mm-hmm. Their right. wood finish series that yeah. I'm a, a huge fan of. And uh, we chose a screw top over 107. Look, look at that, huh? So we're gonna do a series coming up here pretty soon. Bumps. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're gonna do a series here coming up uh, today. Uh, we're gonna start it. We, we don't we haven't landed on the name yet. Um, we, we may get there, but we'll see, uh, where we're going to serve up a mystery bottle or mystery pour for the other and, uh, see if we can guess the, the age, maybe the price, the proof, yep. and, uh, if we can get the distillery, maybe bonus points, bonus points for the bottle itself. We just have to come up with what the loser, what, what's going to be, you get a point for each one of them. And what is the loser? Uh, no butt chugging. No butt chugging. I suggested getting iced. On camera, you gotta you gotta chug it. Oh. I oh. think I think it fits. And that that it could work. work. It wouldn't kill you. No, it wouldn't kill you. Well, we got time to think yeah, about well, that. We will figure that out. So, uh, this was fun. Do blind tastings at home. Uh, they don't have to be completely blind, but you can know what you're getting into, and your mind can still be blown by what's going on here, like ours were. Um, Shook. So check this stuff out. Buy some damn Maker's Mark 101. It's really good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah. Shocked. That's all I got. That's, man, I don't know what else you can say. So, <laughs> until.
until next time, pour something good in your glass. Either one of these are good choices. Uh, one of them nudged ahead today. I mean, yeah. that's all it is. So, how about it? Check back for the next episode. Make sure you subscribe and like, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.